All right, we're going into the freezer section. Uh, Walmart had these. These are the brand new Cinnabon Bakery inspired products. Check this one out. This is a Cinnabiscuit chicken sandwich. Look at that. You have the uh, Cinnabon biscuits on the top and the bottom. You're gonna have a nice uh, tender chicken filet. At least they're calling it tender. And some cinnamon sauce. Let's check this out. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so I don't do many uh, microwave products or items from the uh, freezer section of your local grocery store or Walmart, uh, but this is something special. Cinnabon has launched a line of products and this is one of them right here. A chicken sandwich in between two Cinnabon inspired biscuits. So check it out right there. There is the back. And we are going to try this in the microwave. You have a two count, two sandwiches in this box. Uh, it was $6 or $5.79. Uh, so you're looking at $3 per sandwich, I guess. And you could cook these in a toaster oven. I don't own a toaster oven, so I was going to do it in the oven. But I'm like, hey, this is a uh, microwavable snack. So let's see how this comes out in the uh, microwave. Here we go. All right, check it out right there in the vacuum sealed uh, packaging, the plastic right there. So this calls for a minute and 30 seconds of uh, microwavable cook time. That's 90 seconds total for all you laymen out there. Math is fun. All right, so let's go. I'm putting this in the microwave. One minute and 30 seconds. Here we go. All right, I wanted to give you one quick look at the product before it goes into the microwave. It is a small sandwich and it's very weird to hold this because it is a uh, frozen solid. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's the sandwich. Now let's microwave it. All right, we haven't cooked it yet because I looked at the instructions and for the first time I've ever seen instructions like this, it told me to wrap it in a damp paper towel. What is going on, Cinnabon? All right, so I wrapped this sandwich in a damp paper towel. I'm now gonna put it on a microwavable safe dish, and then I'm going to microwave this for uh, 90 seconds. What in the law of physics is going on right now? All right, here we go. All right, first ever microwave cam. You can see it's all wrapped up, ready to go. Now let's cook it. All right, giving you a little update. Uh, the 90 seconds is up, but now the instructions clearly say to let it sit in the uh, microwave for one minute. I'm following this exactly to the T, so when I return, you are finally going to see the finished product, and then I will finally give it a taste test. Finally. This has been a production. They want me to jump through some hoops, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it for them. I'm doing it for you. Stay tuned. All right, check it out as promised. Here is the tiny Cinnabiscuit chicken sandwich. I don't know, about $3 for this. Now what's interesting too, it says it comes with that cinnamon sauce. I didn't see any on there, so I went back to the box and it comes in a separate package right here. So now I have to apply this. So you know when I just said they had me jumping through hoops? There's a lot going on right here to make this sandwich. So let's get the sauce on it and finally try this bad right. boy. So I know, I know, you haven't seen me take a bite yet. This actually has separate instructions for the sauce. Now I probably should have read everything, but I read the instructions. Over to the right, there's separate instructions for this sauce packet separate instructions for the sauce packet. I just assumed that the sauce was on the sandwich. There's a lot happening uh, with this product. This says to fill a small bowl with hot tap water. What? I'm trying to eat a sandwich out of the microwave. I don't, I don't know what's going on right here. Place cinnamon sauce packet in water to defrost, then add cinnamon sauce to the inside of bottom biscuit, Place chicken on top, add cinnamon sauce to top of chicken, and place biscuit on top to complete your delicious sandwich. They then gave me step-by-step -step instructions how to apply sauce to a sandwich. Now, come on, 
Cinnabon, I know. I know you're trying to do good. You're trying to give us a product that we can pop in the microwave. Now this is just turned into a debacle. There's just so much going on. I have to defrost this, even though it seems like it's defrosted. I think I can bypass that whole step. I'll work this out and I promise, I promise when I come back, I'm gonna eat the sandwich. I will put some timestamps in the description uh, for people based on how this uh, filming has been going uh, so people can just jump right around if they want to because this is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. All right, check it out. This is the finished product and we took it outside. It is a beautiful morning this morning. So why not finish this up in style with, at one with nature. Let's go. This has just been a process this has been a process let's go upside down the more you turn me inside out and round and round so I did a little uh, taste right there because I got some of that cinnamon sauce on my finger and it is sweet and it does remind me of that uh, Cinnabon uh, flavor so here we go the Cinna biscuit chicken sandwich this has been a process but hope it tastes good mm. 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 That bottom biscuit is so hard, so hard, like rock hard. There's the chicken on the inside. Whoa, almost broke a tooth on that. Ooh. All right, so listen, the bottom biscuit is rock hard. It's rock hard. Now the top biscuit is hard as well, uh, but it has a little give to it. It's not as hard as the bottom one right here. Listen to this. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, that's hard. Uh, the chicken uh, lacks a little bit of flavor. I'm getting mostly the sweetness from that sauce. Um, yeah, I mean, it's microwavable fried chicken on the inside. I don't know if I'm gonna take another bite. This bottom is just so hard. Like, listen, listen. Okay, glad you heard that. Um, all right, I'll go in for a bite right there where I kind of dissected that uh, bottom biscuit right there. Let me just try to get one more taste of the chicken and the uh, top of this uh, biscuit. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of this. I'm, I'm not a fan of this. All right, so listen, I'm just gonna offer an apology a, I apologize that this video has gone on so long for a microwavable product. And two, I apologize for wasting your time. I know your time is valuable and I appreciate you giving this video a look uh, and maybe I helped you. Maybe I helped you save $6. Maybe this is better if you cook it in the toaster oven. Um, but I don't know, it looks okay. It's just missing on every mark. Flavor, texture, um, I just can't finish it. I won't finish it. Cinnabon. Stick with the Cinnabons. You know what you do right. You're the king of the Cinnabon. There's no uh, disputing that, but that, whew, that is just wow. But uh, let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of. I'm going to give the Cinna Biscuit Chicken Sandwich from Cinnabon a rating of. Whoa, this is. It's a 10. I'm giving this a 10. This has gone down as the lowest rated product I have ever given anything on this channel. Seven years. Do you know what the uh, previous low was? And uh, that was bad. That was really bad. Uh, leave some comments below if you are an OG uh, subscriber and you know what the uh, lowest rated item I'd ever given a product before this one. This just misses on every level. The price, uh, the cooking procedure, uh, the flavor, the texture, uh, no. And I followed the instructions perfectly. I followed them perfectly. That whole damp uh, paper towel, that should have given me a, a warning right there. Should have been like, wah, wah, warning, warning, swarm, swarm. Shout out Seinfeld. But um, all right, so there you go. Another video in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, are you going to try that? Even though I have shown you everything you need to know about this product, are you going to try it? If not, have you tried it yet? Have you had a similar experience? This is just no. No bueno.